is weather on demand for Friday, July 18th. Your weather headlines, well, more nice weather prevails across the UP. That'll last into the weekend. We'll see an increasing south wind, definitely bringing some warmer air in. We look around, temperatures finally close to average as we start our day, 50s and even some 60s out there. This is more like what you would expect for uh, mid to late July in Upper Michigan. There are still some cool spots, and I guess you gotta suspect that as well, into the 40s near that Wisconsin line. First thing at the 8 o'clock hour. Lots of sunshine, cloud cover hard to come by. We have to span out to uh, see what else is happening. So high pressure uh, dominating much of the Great Lakes region up into the uh, upper Mississippi River Valley through those high plains. We're watching some unsettled weather down into that lower Mississippi River Valley. Uh, the uh, flooding threat and some limited severe weather is uh, ongoing there. You can see some good storms down towards Galveston, Texas, but really the headline is going to be the flooding concern over the next couple days as we look at places like Louisiana. Closer to home, we are going to be watching this next front. You can see uh, the cool frontal boundary associated with the southern fringe of a low pressure system. That's going to be slowly working across south and central Canada. Eventually, that's going to affect our weather, but uh, our forecast model is kind of undecided on what's going to happen. Here's the way we think it'll break down. Lots of sunshine into your Friday morning and similar to your Thursday, we get a few fair weather clouds into the afternoon with that heat uh, from the day. So a few pop up rain showers not out of the question. Looks like uh, it seems kind of doubtful though. We didn't get any action yesterday and it looks like a similar setup for today. Into your weekend, same kind of thing is going to be happening. Looks like a pretty nice weekend forecast, but rain can't be ruled out. Here's why. So here's this frontal boundary that low is beginning to pass over south and central Canada, northern Lake Superior, and you can see that's going to be trailing a cold front along with that Saturday afternoon, and it looks like some rain will be firing off. Looks like this particular forecast model is kind of overdoing that moisture, but nonetheless looks like some rain, maybe some thunder is possible over the Copper Country and Keweenaw Peninsula Saturday evening. And you know what? We could get wet Saturday night into early Sunday into places like central upper Michigan, Menominee, Marquette, but it looks like rain is certainly going to be hard to come by over those far eastern counties. Again, your Sunday rain can't be ruled out. We'll talk about what happens into next week in just a moment for today. Well, you know what? There will be a bit of a lake breeze, but that gradient south wind is actually going to keep that pin down right along the shoreline in places like uh, Houghton Hancock, which is typically affected by that lake breeze. That south wind warms you up to around 80. Some of the warmer spots into those low 80s looks like a pretty nice day. Some fair weather cloud cover. We'll call it a sun cloud mix by this afternoon, but all in all, that spells a nice forecast. Now, that uh, lake breeze is actually going to be enhanced by that south wind in places like Manistique, so a little cooler there, otherwise a nice day. And it's a nice beach forecast for you, too. Lots of sunshine. The south wind is breezy at times, but along Superior, waves kept to generally a foot or less. Along Lake Michigan, similar to yesterday with that breezy south wind, you have a bit of an elevated elevated swim risk, so you want to exercise some common sense in places like your Delta and Schoolcraft County shorelines. Waves generally a foot or, or two, so all in all, it's a pretty nice day to be on the beach and offshore as well. So get out and enjoy it. Be sure to lather up the sunscreen. You're going to need it. Mainly clear overnight, mild, upper 50s, low 60s. That's warmer than what you would expect. You remember earlier this week when the weather was miserable? Well, we're making up for that now. A breezy south wind keeps us warm and you know what? We kind of start to feel on the humid side by especially Monday and Tuesday. We're going to have no problem breaking into the mid even upper 80s both Monday and Tuesday. A pop up thunder shower can't be ruled out and then we cool back down. Rain becomes more likely Tuesday evening and then again Wednesday. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.